Typically after a fire, we have our stabilization that uh, generally takes place within the first year after the fire. This area was prime habitat for sage grouse, for deer, for elk. So we're trying to bring it back so that we can stabilize the ground so we can outcompete the, the invasive grasses. This specific area has had uh, two other fires throughout the last decade and we're just continuing working to the north from the last treatment that we did. This particular project is roughly 16,000 acres. We've determined maybe 55 to 60 percent of it is drillable acres. This is an old existing volcano, so there are stringers of lava rock that come down and it's very difficult to do anything with it. So we aerial seeded the whole 16,000 acres and we've been drill seeding for almost a month and a half now, trying to get everything that we can possibly drill. working seven days a week, typically a 12-hour shift. We're doing it in-house with our own BLM employees. We try and put some of our own ESNR staff, and then we use either fire crew or fuels crew. On this project, we have five tractors, and each tractor is pulling three drills. So it's sort of in a triangular shape. A lead drill and then two trail drills off the lead drill, one on each side. The majority of the drills that you see out here were built in the 60s. So you can see the durability of the drills. For them to be continuously running year after year, being pulled through the conditions you see out here, the rocks and through the brush, Oh, we've had so many challenges on this project. One, the remoteness of it. It's two hours from Shoshone, two hours from Burley. You're driving down two track roads that uh, aren't in the best condition, crossing lava flows. For the month of October, we had 4.19 inches of rain out here. For about a seven to 10 day period, it was just tractors pulling out other tractors, the operators having to get out and lifting up the discs just to take the weight off. It was just the, the nightmare of just all the moisture. This country is, it has been really slow going. When you see those drills going, it looks like they're going at a decent clip. If they're going one to two miles per hour, that's probably as good as they're gonna get. If you get to go three miles an hour, that's pretty exciting times. It's a lot of work, but uh, we've always had good success and a lot of help from the fire crew and from the fuels crews.